Can you measure how effective warming up for a certain amount of time is? Well, I tried. I know many will bash me and say the only way to improve with aim is to do those crazy Hiko challenges with like 500 kills, but the point of this video is to see if at a certain point while warming up, you plateau off, meaning that you're warm. In the past, measuring this seemed impossible, but with Ulytical's semi-new 100 kill challenge feature on his aim map, this suddenly becomes possible. Using this cool little tool, I can measure how many kills I can get per minute, and if I do this with like 5 trials or more, I'm able to see how my kills per minute improves. Besides me, I'm thankful to have Level also submit his own data into this test. I would describe myself as a consistent aimer, just bad, but Level describes himself as a horribly inconsistent horrible aimer. His words, not mine. First, we'll look at the consistent aimer. Me! I for sure benefit from warming up. There's only one time where I declined on the second trial or any other trial after the first. Most of the time, it's pretty significant when compared to the rest of the data, so that's something interesting to note, and I'll probably be doing it from now on. After that, there seemed to always be one case exception to any trial mostly on the second day. But overall, the results seem pretty consistent. From what I found, after the second trial, the results plateaued between 94 and 96, which in the whole scheme of things is pretty dang close. It appears to me that after only four trials, or like five or so minutes, I'm ready to go. But this could be due to me having consistent aim or due to my insanely low sense. However, it's a whole different story for Level. Bear in mind that he had a smaller sample size. For him, it seemed that overall, after the eight, he was better off than when it was compared to the start. But trying to make any other conclusion about it ends in catastrophe, because like, none of the data points line up in any days. If you want to test this for yourself, which I advise you to, for my settings on the A map, I had only one wall open with four layers open. I used an M4A1S and Kevlar only, not helmet. And that's it. One thing I noticed is that my aim didn't improve or show any correlation to kills as the week went on, which can be good because it shows that the information wouldn't be skewed, but possibly bad since it doesn't show any improvement. But that could be due to me sucking at the game and not due to the practice itself. Oh well. One more unrelated thing to the study but more with my channel is my upload rates. For some reason, I felt less motivated to make these videos despite me having many ideas floating around in my head. Kind of like the opposite of what I had a year ago. I think I will get back into the video every week, but know that I'm more stressed out about this issue than anyone else. I still love making videos and I'll get back somehow. I think.